Hey everybody, we're looking at the new beta game recorder from Steam. Valve has put up a beta app for recording games directly from Steam itself. It's a very lightweight tool to record games and audio inputs that saves the data locally. It then has a tool to edit the clips and save them or share them. It's a very handy tool for gaming videos, and while it's very simple and streamlined, it has some very nice quality of life features. To try it out for yourself, you will need to go into the main Steam app and find Settings, then Interface. In there is the option for Betas. You can use either beta for this new feature. You will need to restart Steam and it will add a new section in Settings. This is Game Recording and it has the controls for this new app. You can set it up for either recording automatically or be triggered by a hotkey. Automatic is nice for people who tend to forget to hit the record button. There is also a hotkey for adding markers in the video itself. This makes it very easy to find specific points in time in your video, whether it's a cool discovery, spectacular demise, or killing a beast. The beta does have an automated version of that as well, but it's still a hit or miss as to whether or not it realizes something is special. It has a variety of audio settings, you can have it record only the audio from the game itself, include all the audio being produced, or even select which apps you want it to record. If you use a third-party program for voice chat, that can be included in the recording. You can specify which folders to save the data in, and it will be in a custom bespoke format. You cannot just grab the raw recording to work with. It keeps the main sessions together and indexed, but the main way to access it is through the main Steam interface. When you choose which game you've recorded, the clips will show up on that game's page in your library. You can then choose any of the clips to work with. The Clip Editor is a very simple app, so do not expect a full-blown editing suite. You can set up and edit custom markers for points in the timeline. You can set up starting and ending points for the final clip. But you cannot make multiple clips at the same time, or join clips together. Each editing session is a single clip. It has controls for very sensitive movement in the timeline, so you can be sure your cuts and markers are exactly where you want them. Once the video is ready, you can either save the clip to your Steam account, or even export it locally as an MP4. Now you can use that clip in videos, upload to services like TikTok and YouTube, or even use a more powerful video editor to combine your clips into more elaborate videos. This system even works with virtual reality apps, so if you want to record sessions in VR, the system will pull the video from the left eye camera. This might affect the way things are centered, but it's not too far off, and you should be able to account for that. So far, the beta looks pretty nice. It's stable and user-friendly, and kept simple so it won't take resources away from the game itself. We look forward to seeing any other features, and how the final release works out. Let us know in the comments if you have any ideas for useful and simple features it could have, or if you just have questions. I hope this gave you some insight on the new beta game recorder in Steam. Have fun, everyone.